Well, at first I wasn't fighting it. I was just trying to figure it out. Um, like millions of people across the United States, I and my family, we were approached to lease our land to the natural gas industry. Um, my house, the house my father built the year I was born, um, was, is in the upper Delaware River Basin, which is right on the border of New York and Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania side. It's part of the interconnected watershed that feeds water to about 16 million people in New York City and southern New Jersey and Philadelphia. And we were approached on our 19.5 acres, as was almost everyone in the upper Delaware, um, to lease for natural gas drilling and fracking. And this was sort of like an alien landing in the backyard. It was like, what is this? We've never had a proposal for extractive industry, for industry at all in the area. Um, so my dad looked at this letter and he was like, figure this out. This looks like a scam, you know. And I, um, then my neighbors started looking at the process and they, they found out that fracking, um, this new form of natural gas drilling, which actually fractured and broke apart rock formations, the, the Marcellus Shale, the famous Marcellus Shale underneath our land, um, and underneath three quarters of Pennsylvania, half of New York, half of Ohio, all of West Virginia, this enormous formation, um, that fracturing injected uh, millions of gallons of water laced with toxic chemicals um, to break apart the rock formation and free up the gas. And that those chemicals um, were carcinogens uh, um, and neurotoxins, and that all over the United States, people were reporting water contamination. And being in the watershed um, and seeing some YouTube videos of people whose little streams and springs were running with rainbow colors of, of uh, oil contamination and gas contamination, and people who uh, heard reports that people could light their water on fire um, from Canada and from Wyoming, and seeing these moonscapes, um, I felt like I had to investigate it. And my initial impulse was to just go where I could, interview some people who had never made a documentary before, um, was a filmmaker and a theater maker previous to that. And I thought I was gonna make like three or four minute YouTube clips to, to educate my neighborhood, find out who was telling the truth. Was it the gas industry or was it these neighbors of mine who were rapidly becoming environmentalists? Um, and you know, when the gas industry comes to your door, uh, and when they do their approach, they say, oh, it's nothing, you'll hardly even know we're here, you know, we're just going to have a fire hydrant in the middle of the field. Um, and, you, you know, that's not the whole story. Uh, the, the thing took me a lot further, obviously, than a YouTube video. It made the film Gasland. It took me all across America, 12 uh, states we shot in. I visited about 25 different states. It ended up on HBO um, uh, and all these incredible things happened. Um, right now, by our estimation, it's, you know, 40 or 50 million people worldwide in over 30 countries that have seen the film. Um, and it has really united people who are experiencing the same problems in all these different places. Water contamination, air pollution, health problems, a basic upheaval of the democratic fabric uh, of their communities. Um, and so, you know, <laughs> this is all in a weird kind of a way an accident for me to have been there at that time. Um, and decided to go ahead and make a documentary. But when you contemplate the fact that the oil and gas industry has now leased an area equivalent to a bit greater than the land mass of all of California and Florida combined, it's not such an uncommon story. It's just uncommon that it happened to be in the watershed and that watershed happened to be connected to, to New York City and that there was a great amount of political and media clout behind the places that the gas industry had chosen to go, among all the different places that they've chosen to go. Um, and it's not an uncommon story, considering we're in the largest uh, expansion of fossil fuel onshore drilling in American history right now.